Hello, Logan. Hey, this is the video that you guys have requested. Uh, as you can see here, I just pulled screenshots in uh, with the idea of going over the material with you. Uh, but again, hey, thank you guys for reaching out to me. Again, uh, my name is Larry Stewart, your uh, science instructor uh, on uh, with Edgenuity. And so uh, I uh, pulled, as you can see, the screenshots from the activity, the assignment uh, that is was done prior to uh, your uh, attempting the quiz. And so we'll just go through, not so much to uh, correct your answers, because actually you guys worked through most of them and had them right, but just the idea of explaining why and how uh, to process uh, the information. So with that, uh, we will get started. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see them easier. There we go, that'll work right there. Uh, all right, so let me get a pin here. Pick out a good color. Uh, we'll just go with the blue. All right, so the idea of calculating average speed. Okay, anytime you have the word average and you don't have another uh, indicator, another noun like instantaneous, or velocity uh, anytime it's just average okay the idea of average uh, as you guys know I'm sure that's just a straight division problem you just take your uh, distance okay and divide that by the time uh, which you guys did very well right there okay and it asks you to to round it to the nearest tenth uh, the actual answer as you know was uh, like 0.32 and then we just rounded that uh, to 0.3. Oh, no, I'm on the wrong. Yeah, I was. I had in my mind, I was looking at my notes at, the, at the, the wrong one. Let's just start that again. Let me get this eraser here. That's what you get when you're looking down at your notes. I was just looking at the wrong one. So I apologize that. Let's try that again. I was thinking at the time when it's coming up. So again, average... Uh, average speed and I, I did it right I just had the wrong uh, wrong answer in mind so distance divided by time in this case as you can see 560 meters 25 seconds and you guys did that very well uh, the 22.4 meters per second and again I sorry sorry for that uh, choppy beginning there uh, I was thinking of uh, the next one uh, so let's close that pin out. Yeah, this is the one that I was thinking of as I looked down at my notes while I was talking there and uh, out thought myself. So now this one, uh, again, get the pin back up here. Okay, now we're adding a, uh, you know, the idea of velocity. Okay, and velocity is, is tricky, but again, you guys uh, did a great job here. Uh, with with uh, the getting the answer, but it's a tricky formula because it's uh it's like two steps uh, to get the answer, but it certainly starts with I mean you've got to this tricky aspect of because it's all about a change, change in the initial location to the change uh, from the second location okay so distance one in this case and you can see here they give you three numbers you got this distance here this distance here and then a time here and you just plug those in uh, to your formula uh, this one would go here this one would go here and of course this one would go here and you don't have a second time so that just means it's zero okay so you'd have the 9 10 uh, minus zero and so now you've got you've got 500 minus 200 so that's obviously 300 and we're dividing that by the 9 10 and so you do that and that's when uh, I spoke too soon that's the zero three two but they ask you to round it to the nearest tenth 
So we drop this and the 0 0.3. So another example of this, if you'd have said like Ben walked uh, 400 meters from his house and then came back 100, you know, talked to his neighbor and we'll say that took uh, 600 seconds. Okay, then you would do the same thing. You would take 400 minus 100 and you divide that by 600 and so then you'd have 300 divided by 600 and when you do that I'm just reaching down from my calculator now okay then your speed would be 0 0.5 okay meters per second so that's the idea of uh, average velocity you've got to go through this displacement formula uh, where you just plug in your numbers, do your subtractions, and then do your division uh, to get your time. But you guys did a good job. Uh, we're figuring it out, but I did want to go over the uh, the formula because that was one of the requests that you that you had made, uh, the spending time with the formulas. Okay, so we'll close this out, slide down to the next one. Get my pen back. Okay, so now we're going to be interpreting... Okay, this graph in relative to position and time. Okay, and again, you can see you guys did a great job uh, with that. But what I want to go over is each one of them and what it would look like if it had been true or what uh, they're, they're talking about. Like, for example, when it comes to the word origin. Okay, so the first thing we want to identify is the origin will be right here and that's in other words zero uh, meters from the beginning so that is your that's what we considered your origin okay so if we look at the first one the object is moving away from the origin okay you got that right and the way that you determine that is that the whole pace of your walk you're getting further and further Okay, you're getting further and further away from uh, where you started. So you guys did a great job with that. But having this line uh, continuing to go up the y-axis means you're getting further and further away from uh, your the origin. Okay, and you did a good job not selecting this. The object moving towards the origin. That line would look like this. That would be a, a negative slope line. The idea of now, you are, as you work further along, you're getting closer, okay, you're moving back towards uh, the origin. So if the line would have looked like this, then you would have selected this uh, as, an, as an option. The object started at the origin, okay? It's great that you, that you didn't select that because if the, the line was coming out of here, then it would have started at the origin. But it started uh, two meters away from the origin, which you guys greatly um, intelligently uh, picked up on. Okay, And again, the same idea, the object started at two meters, and that is right here. So if the line would have been here, it would have, you'd say it started at six meters. If the line was here, it would start at 10 meters. If the line was had started here, then you would have said it started at 12 meters. So that's that's a reference to the point on the y-axis. And again, you correctly got that the average the object is traveling at a constant velocity, and you can see that by uh, each time it crosses a new second. Okay, it goes up two. So no, I'm starting. Yeah, it should have been here, okay, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then here. So, and when it goes five seconds, it's at 10 meters. Um, so that's, you know, two meters per second. Now, it isn't a, a perfect uh, velocity, because you can see, like, right here, it's a little above the six. 
here it's right on the eight that would be a, a perfect two meters per second here it's actually a little below the 10 so uh, and here it's a little below um, the four here so it's not right on it to be a perfect two meters per second it would be it would need to go through right through those just like it does on the four here right through that that intersection between the time and the distance all right looking at our next our next slide okay interpreting a negative slope and um, these can be tricky okay but interpreting a negative slope Okay, so we'll just start at the top here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's moving away from the origin at constant velocity. So we got two things. Uh, we've got direction, and we've got a reference to the speed or the velocity that it's that it's referring to, or it's, it's moving at. Okay. Now, and you guys correctly um, didn't select this one. Just like the previous slide, if it was moving away from the origin, the line would look like that. And we'd be increasing in the y-axis as the line moves along as far as time. So good job not picking that one. Okay, now the one you did pick away from the origin, okay, at decreasing velocity. Again, this line would be uh, away from because you'd be getting further and further away as you traveled up uh, the y-axis and in the decreasing decreasing velocity okay would be less as each second passed by okay you you didn't go as far so that line would look like let me get this one out of the way here Okay, a decreasing velocity. Let me just think just for a second here. Make sure I do this right. So, for example, say we went two meters in that second. And then, okay, now we just went one meter per second. So, it would just get flatter and flatter. Okay, it's, it's hard to draw this uh, with, the, with the mouse and not uh, get too flat. But the line would just get flatter and flatter. It would no longer be this two meters per second. Now it's one meter per second, and maybe you know if it kept, if just if it the the uh, the distance traveled per second would be decreasing. That's what decreasing velocity would look like. It would you would travel less time per second. Okay, and then let's go to the other one that you selected towards the origin at a decreasing velocity okay now we are looking at this line this is decreasing this is towards the origin because as we travel we're moving down the y-axis so that part you got right okay it is moving towards the origin okay but the decreasing velocity part is the part that uh, it's not doing because as you can see every time I go down to the next box I, I pass right through that line which means for each second we're doing two meters two meters two meters two meters two meters so every me every second we travel two meters and so that would be a constant of velocity two meters per second walking back towards the um, uh, origin uh, if the line, if this would have been correct, again, the line would look like it would be more like this. Like here, we would have done, uh, you know, one meter per second. And then we did, now we did a half. And the line would just get flatter and flatter. Uh, so I, I traveled... Uh, the entire I didn't even travel the entire distance here so in five seconds 
I only went uh, six meters um, and each time I got less and less distance traveled uh, in that second so that would be decreasing just a flatter line in that regard so now the one that is right towards the origin of constant velocity I touched on that that they're moving towards the origin because they're moving down the y-axis okay but they're also moving at the same two meters per second each each time and you can tell that constant because it passes through the intersection of the time and meter uh, line okay so let's close this we can move down uh, to the next one okay determining initial velocity and position uh, and again you guys did a great job here uh, as we can see okay so the idea the starting position okay three meters and we're traveling three meters per second that's because in one second we got to six meters and in two seconds nine three seconds twelve so we're going up by threes so for every second we're going up three meters and so you guys did a great job with that now if the line would have started here okay then that starting position would be nine meters and here would be twelve here would be fifteen meters okay so that's a reference to so when it says the starting position it's just referring to okay, where on the y-axis did the line begin and of course if it if the line ran through we'll say like there okay uh, now we would not have a constant velocity which we did here now it'd be like if we started at nine in one second now we're maybe at uh, ten and a half that's a meter and a half per second and now here uh, after two seconds we're at 12 so now we're traveling almost like 1.5 meters per second okay, so that would be an idea uh, that line just refers to you just go over this next second where are they do that little division problem over the next section where are we do that little division problem to get that uh, speed and velocity but you guys did a great job with that but again I want to touch on what the origin meant or starting position okay and what the uh, velocity just a simple division uh, distance divided by time okay so let's close that and then we've got to go all the way back up to the top for slide seven All right, so now we're going to be find my pen here, comparing the motion of three runners. And again, you guys did a great job. Okay, but let's talk about what each of them, each of them means. Okay, fastest speed. The idea of fastest speed. This is time. Okay, so if you think of if you're timing runners with a stopwatch, who's going to have the fastest speed? the person with the lowest time if all the all the distances are relative so when we think of time so if this was like one two three four five six seconds okay the runner here okay runner here and runner here so you can easily see that A had the shortest time, which means they had the fastest uh, speed. And you, and you uh, uh, did a good job on that. Which runner had the slowest speed? So again, if you're thinking about timing runners, okay, the person with the biggest or largest amount of time would be the slowest, and that would be C. Uh, and then which runner had a head start? So again, we're thinking origin. Okay, we're thinking starting position. So if A and B, uh, started here this would be zero okay and if we did it at like one two three four five meters uh, from starting from origin then C is the one who had 
uh, the head start and that's the reference to right there uh, you know here would be a head start here would be a head start here would be a head start if you're thinking of timing runners uh, who are and you want the distance to be the same C would be considered having a head start excuse me for a second there I had to throat was getting a little dry I had to get a drink okay sliding down to number eight okay so now we're taking the same ideas that we've been looking at and now we're going to compare the motion of three cars but again we're thinking of position time so we're thinking fastest slowest uh, point of origin starting position all all of those all of those things and we even got this okay when it comes to if you're in the same position for a a a length of time okay then you are not moving okay you are standing still which you correctly got right there so car three had a head start okay and then for whatever reason never moved it stayed in the same position okay and you, or you could think that okay what if it just went and came back uh, and we're going to see some of those but you would have a uh, point of where you'd be going up and then returning to the same spot the graph would end up in the same spot start in the same spot but it would look differently uh, if that was if that was what was going on and we'll see that as you know here in a little bit but the idea of moving the fastest again when we think fastest when it comes to timing uh, distance traveled over time the person with the shortest amount of time okay that's going to be the fastest and that of course would be a and then the standing still again same position for a length of time that's standing still that's what that line means uh, again, so when you're thinking position and time, a flat line would be a reference to not moving. You're in the same spot, the timer's running, but yet you're not getting further or closer to the point where you started. And starting the same location, so again, we're looking for two places on the y-axis. Oh, excuse me. Where the origin is the same where the starting position is the same okay if i had a fourth line here and this was car d then c and d would also have started the same position even though they had different results much like what a and b a and b had but that's a reference to the uh, comparison of location standing still reference which is this line right here and again, moving fastest, which is this line here. Okay, so close that. Oh, again, I'm sorry. Excuse me for that. That's my, I think it's my, my heater. I got the, too much warm air blowing through. Let me turn that off. All right. So now we're going to look at interpreting position versus time, which is what a lot of the graphs have actually been looking at. Position, y-axis, time, x-axis. But now you can see we've got a different scenario. We're moving away. Okay, this line here, okay, it's going up the y-axis. So we are moving away from, okay, our starting position and our origin. And then we've got a period of time right in here where we're at the same distance, but the time is moving. Okay, so that's a reference uh, to standing still, which you correctly showed on the previous slide with the car, car C. And in this line, okay, we're moving back towards 
okay, the origin. We're going down as far as the Y scale from 12 meters away back to zero on the Y axis, okay, as a reference to moving uh, back towards uh, the origin. Okay, so uh, the question says what's happening between four and six? So we'll talk about each of these. Uh, the first one says the object is moving away from the start at a constant uh, speed. So uh, that's obviously not happening during four and six, but it is happening. Let's well, let's see if it's happening. When I go two seconds, I've gone three meters. When I went four seconds, I went twelve meters. So that is a constant speed as far as moving away between seconds uh, zero and four. It is moving at a constant speed for every two seconds. It's moving three meters, four seconds, 12 meters. So it's moving at uh, six meters, no, uh, well it'd be six meters per two seconds or three meters per second. But in the end it, it asks about between four and six. So that would not be the case uh, and again, if we think about it here, the object is returning to the start at a constant speed. It is going down this graph, okay, because 12 meters, uh, 12 seconds, okay, that would be one meter, uh, well, six seconds. So 12 meters, that would be a two meter per second average. Uh, but again, not between four and six. It is on this line. So if I numbered these, one, two, this is probably an easier way of doing it, three, uh, this one is occurring for number one, but it's asking between four and six. This one is occurring for number three, but not between the four and six. And in this case, the object is changing speed. Uh, that's not ever the case uh, because, again, in four seconds, it went 12. That's three meters per second. And then coming back down, um, it went 12 meters in six seconds. So that's two seconds. So while it is uh, not the same speed, okay, it doesn't change uh, in its in its pathway in its course. Okay, the one you correctly chose is right here. Object not moving, and that that is shown case by the fact that for we are at 12 meters away from the origin uh, in that time frame. And that's shown by that flat line right there. So you guys did a great job uh, with seeing that. Okay, let's close that and go down to our next one. And so again, uh, we're looking at this, this style of graph. Okay, so now we're determining instantaneous and average speeds. We're now we're calculating numbers Okay, instantaneous. Okay, so again, it's it's the, uh, no wait, this is just speeds, so never mind. I almost outthought myself there. Yeah. So if we look at, uh, use the graph to determine the instantaneous speed at two seconds. So we're at two seconds here. So we have traveled after two seconds, we have traveled three meters. So six divided by two, that's your three meters per second. Okay, average speed over the entire trip. This one is tricky, okay, but you guys did a great job at getting it because we went 12 meters and then we stopped and took a break. Maybe we ate lunch or something, who knows? But it's four to seconds, so it, we wouldn't have eaten lunch. But the idea of moving away from break and then moving back to the origin and again, because we've gone, we started at the origin, we went out to 12 meters in four seconds. So that obviously uh, would be three meters per second, showing that constant speed right there. Then we uh, there was a stop in the action. And then in these six seconds here, we went back. So that is two seconds uh, per meters, which is what you show here. You've got to go up to 12. So we actually went 24 meters and we did so in 12 seconds. So that would be 24 divided by 12. 
because that's the whole trip. And of course that obviously is two, even with that stop right there. So if the if you think about that, if the line would have been, you know, no stop, so we're here and then back down. Uh, so again, we would have the same answer as for the second one, because we'd have gone 24 and 12 seconds, but where it would be different would be on the first one, uh, because now we've gone uh, 12 second or 12 meters in essentially five seconds. And so that would be 12 divided by five, and again, reaching down for my calculator. That would be 2.4 meters per second. So that stop in there uh, is what's threw off our, our uh, overall uh, average because you've got the clock is still running, but yet we're not moving. We're not getting to where uh, we want to. But again, instantaneous and average speed. That's the idea with that. All right, so that uh, takes care of the first 10. And so as we move on uh, to our number 11, uh, or our last, uh, our next and our last uh, slide. So again, let me make this a little bit bigger. No, that's too much there. I don't work right there. All right, so I'll grab a pin here. All right, so again, now this time again, we're talking velocity. And again, you guys did a great job uh, with working that, uh, working on these. The thing to, to think about is that negative sign there with the number, beside the number two. Uh, you may think that that's an odd, but that's just a reference to point of uh, the negative slope line and the idea of going back from as we traveled out and now we're going back. So it, you would think that, okay, how can you have negative velocity? I mean, if you had zero velocity, that's standing still, so how can you have negative? And it's just a uh, numerical reference as far as a sign uh, when you, to have. Uh, it just means that you're going back. It's a reference to the going back. It's this line here uh, that it's a reference to. Uh, yeah, because it's between 6 and, and 12. So... Again, that takes us to our uh, our formula for a velocity that we used way back in the beginning. It's the idea of the two distances and uh, the time references and subtracting. So our d1 in this case is what's which is what causes our negative number. Uh, we're going to have this at zero because this is where, as far as the question. When it, when it refers to 6 to 12, this is where it started, that time period started. So that's going to be a 0. And then, of course, then we go 12 meters back uh, to origin, back to the 0. So that's what's going to create that negative number, because we're essentially going to take a negative number and divide it by uh, a number, and therefore end up with a negative. And our time reference, 6 to 12, so that's 6 seconds. So I have a negative 12 uh, divided by a 6, and of course that's negative 2, which you guys did a good job at that. But it's this whole idea of this displacement, this velocity formula, where again, just a reminder, it's the d1 minus d2 divided time 1 minus time 2, and typically uh, as you've seen now in two examples, you only get one time reference, and so that makes the second time uh, a zero. So it's just a reminder reminder of that. So uh, hopefully this video uh, helps uh, you guys in your understanding. Uh, and I know it won't create a big difference on your quiz score because uh, the second attempt was at a 90%, uh, which is extremely good. So maybe it'll help you get that 10th percent. Uh, but more importantly, that it may be on a future test that you have in this unit. But more importantly, it's just an understanding of, of what we're doing. 
and uh, and how to do it, and then you're ready for future uh, situations with this with this material that you are up to speed and ready to go. And if after watching this, if you need more help, just let me know. And as always, uh, I'm willing to help in any way that is needed. Uh, just let me know. And with that, until we talk again, we will say goodbye.